Hello friends, hope you all are fine. Today I am going to share a new project which is named as Electronic Door Lock using PIP Microcontroller. Uh, you can download this project and uh, its code and uh, simulation in Proteus software from the link given in the description of this video. When you click on that link, you will get to this page. Uh, it's a post on my blog, The Engineering Projects. And uh, here I have given the complete tutorial in which I have discussed this project completely and have also given the link to download this code and simulation. So, in this project, I have designed an electronic door lock uh, using with microcontroller. Uh, I have programmed the microcontroller in micro C Pro for PIC compiler and I have designed the simulation in Proteus ISIS. The version of Proteus I have used is Proteus 7 and uh, in this project uh, what I am doing is I am uh, uh, designing a door lock so when user enters its password then door lock open or uh, the door goes locked or unlocked so uh, as you can see in this figure uh, given in big form here uh, and uh, uh, let me uh, go from the start first of all what you need to do is you need to download the code and the simulation from this link you have to press this button and uh, it will give you a the download file so you need to download it i have already downloaded it so i'm not gonna download it again so i'm clicking on cancel here and uh, when you download it you will get a simulation in uh, proteus which is this one and you can see in the simulation, I have used a PIC microcontroller, PIC 18F4520. I have also used a serial terminal. In Proteus, we use virtual terminal, which is here. And after that, I have used two relays. And these two relays are actually actuating the solenoid valve, which is locking or unlocking the signal, uh, unlocking the door. So in order to actuate these, uh, this solenoid, I have used relays. And for these relays, I have used this transistor, NPN transistor and uh, here is our optocoupler which is just for protection uh, so that our microcontroller goes electrically isolated from our relay circuit because you know relay gives a back EMF so now what you need to do is you need to upload the hex file and here is our hex file the code is designed in as I said micro C profile pic the code is also given on the website and you need to click OK. After that, you need to press play button. And when you play it, you can see here the virtual terminal it's asking for password. The default password I set is 123. When you enter 123, press enter and it's it's saying correct password and select one of the below options. So we have given three options here. The first option is press Y to uh, log press N to unlock and press C to change password means if you want to change your password the default password then you can select this option so first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Y and when I press Y you can see this relay goes on and this relay goes off and uh, as we can't simulate solenoid in Proteus so I have used simple uh, inductors here uh, these inductors are showing a solenoid wall so when the first relay goes on and the second relay goes on then in fact our solenoid will be moving in one direction and it will be suppose we can say locking the door okay so what i have done is i have pressed y and my first relay goes on while the second rema relay remains off <coughs> now again i need to enter the password i am again entering one two three press enter and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the system. So in order to unlock it, I'm going to press N. And you can see when I press N, the first relay goes off and the second relay goes on. And our solenoid is moving in the opposite direction. And in opposite direction, it will be unlocking the door. Now, suppose I want to change my password. And uh, in order to do that, I have to enter the password again. So I'm entering 1, 2, 3, press enter now I am selecting third option which is C when I entered C it's now asking for the new password so I am giving new password as 456 and it's again asking 
and the, my password has been changed to 456 uh, uh, what I need to do uh, I need to now enter the new password if I press 123 123 enter and it says wrong password so I need to enter 456 and now when I press it gave me the options and now I'm pressing press Y and it's again lock the door now what I'm doing is I'm I have stopped my simulation and now I'm starting it again because in this simulation I have saved the password in EEPROM means when you change the password then the password is saved in the EEPROM so that if your system goes off and then come back to power then it still saves the new password then it still saves the new password so now I'm pressing play <coughs> now when I enter 123 123 which is the default password it's not accepting now I am pressing 456 which I have changed before stopping my simulation. So I am pressing 456, 456, enter and you can see my the new passwords remain saved in the EEPROM. So even after stopping the simulation means powering off my circuit, it's still acting correctly. Okay, and other feature of this, uh, let me scroll, press Y. Okay, another feature of this project is, suppose I enter the wrong password three times the first time I have entered wrong password again I enter like one two three it's wrong password two two tries and now I'm trying third time after third time it will start blinking these RGB lights red green and blue and I am entering third time seven eight nine enter and you can see here RGB lights are means I have entered password only for three times I have attempted three times so after three times it gave us an indication as you can see again oh, 789 789 that's my third attempt okay okay sorry yeah it, it's not working again so I have to close it and then play 789 789 789 and you can see again it's giving us indication and uh, as it was a kind of a basic project so I haven't repeated this indication again in the code it will do it just for one time anyways that's uh, about the project so I'm entering correct password 456 and now I am locking my system I can do anything I want 456 and then I am uh, unlocking my system again the LED is changed the relays you can see relay position it's on and it's off and that's how it's working you can download this complete simulation along with code in micro c pro for pix from this link which is given in the description of this youtube video and subscribe our channel and also subscribe our blog to remain updated with new projects thanks for watching take care bye bye